Hey everybody, Retro Pie Guy here. For today's episode of Channel Talk, we're going to be going over UFC 261, and we're going to do a couple of gameplay demos from UFC 4, um, highlighting the top three fights on this card. So in the main card tonight, starting at 10 o'clock, we have uh, Valentina Shevchenko facing up against Jessica Andrade. We have Weili Zhang defending her title against Rose Namajunas. And we also have the champion Kamaru Usman facing off against Jorge Masvidal. So we're going to go through all three of these fights on UFC 4, and we're going to see who turns out the winner. Coming up next, it's a flyweight title fight between Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica Andrade. So here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight contender looking to become the new UFC Women's Flyweight champion here tonight. And most people believe she has all the skills in the world to get the job done and change the complexion of this division moving forward. Let's see what type of championship performance she can put forth here tonight. All right, so here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, all smiles as she makes the walk here tonight, looking to go out the way she came in as the undisputed champion at 125 pounds. Most people believe it is going to take a huge effort from one of these fellow contender types to dethrone this UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Let's see how she does in this defense here tonight. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach. You ready? Well, our stat guys are ready to score takedowns if need be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here under mixed martial arts. They can head to the popcorn booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that grapple button empty. Don't touch it. Cover it with a piece of tape. You don't need it. Striker versus striker. Both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents, and they don't want to do it on the mat. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Liver kick. Entourage goes to the clinch here early. Big knee. Oh! Big kick. Overhand punch to the head blocked, though, by Valentina Shevchenko. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of hit. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Valentina Bullock, Shevchenko. I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage on the other side. When you start seeing the redness in her leg, that means that every time she is driving that baseball bat right into the thigh where she wants it to land, and now her opponent is limping, her opponent's wounded, her opponent's injured, and now watch the target be way more stationary. Those hands never leave. When oh! She is such a first striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Leg kick. Nice take Nice out, job man. to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Oh, nice job to land the knee strike there. She's got a lot of size for this division and certainly makes it easier to get inside and raise that limb to the target. Wow! All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to the leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed okay, in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. Oh! You can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Entry to get Man, in on a single. That was a great single. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh yes, now we're going. Oh! in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush. And that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. All right, we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike, that ended the night of her opponent. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Valentina Mullen Oh. All right, so congratulations go out to the still UFC Women's Flyweight Champion of the World, and the hardware is starting to pile up. All right, coming up next, it's our highly anticipated championship matchup for the UFC Women's Strawweight Division title. So here she is, the number one 115 pound contender and a strawweight who many fans believe is the number one strawweight in the world. Now, thankfully, the best will fight the best. This is her chance to prove it. She is not the champion. She believes she will leave as such. And as she makes this walk, you hear the crowd behind her. She is looking to leave as the new UFC strawweight champion. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way.
Our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, four losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the challenger, Fog Rose Navayunas! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record on. 21 wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Whaley Magna John. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it a Ready. So here we go with round one. Going to be very interesting to see how this plays out stylistically because both women can truly do it all. This is a very close fight, very competitive fight. Both of these young women are so well rounded that you can't find an advantage for either fighter. I'm so excited I can barely stay in my seat. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you going to shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early goal. Sometimes taking that shot too early can find you can find yourself like Ben Estrin. But she knew that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do, and now she finds herself in a dominant top control position. Ben Askren not going to be too happy if he plays EA Sports UFC 4. He won't be happy with his boy. <laughs> Big kick lands. Kick checked nicely by Nama Yus. Just missed with the elbow there. Sean gets back up again. Waitley going for the head kick here, but no setup, and as such, she misses. Nice leg kick. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Yunus gets caught with that punch. Big body kick. Some nice back and forth action here. So she she did not miss there. This could be the end. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Wait, we get to the clinch yet again. Right hand punch with the clinch. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you'll leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open, and she will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Just unable to quite find that range. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Now goes in and secures the takedown. 
Jong gets back up again. Oh! of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to the leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. All right, both fighters now ready to go as we start up our second round. Wei Li Zhang and Rose Namajunas. Punch over the top. Namajunas' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Another takedown there. Now we'll see what she can do. Now she looks to try and control her opponent because she's gotten a ton of takedowns, and it's awesome to see. But at some point, she needs to get some ground control if she truly wants to wear down her opponent. 38 total strikes, which have landed for Whaley Zhang. And landing at a 54% clip tonight against Rose Namajunas. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Nice job by her to get the takedown there, and I know her opponent felt like she put in all the right work, but sometimes until you're in there feeling the opponent, you don't know what you're in. Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Back to the feet. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Another big takedown. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, big head kick. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh. Left hook, right hand. Right back in the clinch. Oh, nice angle pick. Great timing, better execution. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick. is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure. How about those five minutes? Let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Beautiful kick. 
Rock clip with the right hand. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. Oh, there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Whoa! She can't take pictures now. She has oh. was just a near perfect strike to end the fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. She said, I need to win this fight, but I need to do it by stoppage. I can't leave it in the judges' hands. If I'm gonna take my career to the next level, I've gotta get the knockout win here tonight. Mission accomplished. Well, the stakes were championship, and man, did that woman get the job done here tonight. The UFC women's strawweight champion taking home the belt with a massive knockout win tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. 
He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Still there. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Game Grab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. That was the game. Nice play. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. He certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy. This fight's going to go. Kick there, a lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, straight right. Big elbow there, Lance. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down the the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He's done his feet right now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only... Oh! Just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Woo! Woo yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But... Don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds in the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still the So a lot of people like the 
the challenger tonight, but it goes to the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight king, and gonna take a big effort, I would think, to dethrone this. Yeah, he is just a great fighter. He does everything so well, and the confidence that he brings into the octagon on fight night is unmatched by anybody in the booth. All right, so exactly what we saw in these gameplay demos are my exact predictions for tonight. I think that uh, Valentina Shevchenko is just the better fighter. I think she's going to dominate uh, Jessica Andraj. I think that Wei Li Zhang is going to um, put on a clinic tonight. I think she's just going to outstrike Rose. Um, I love Rose, but I think that she takes too many shots. And with somebody like Wei Li, I think that's going to be a problem. And I also think that Kamara Usman is going to retain his title as well. I think that he's just the more rounded fighter between him and Jorge. I think that, um, you know, it's probably going to be a more even fight than it was last time with um, Masvidal having that full camp leading up to this fight. But um, I think the uh, result in the end is just going to be the same. I think that uh, once Masvidal gets tired, he's going to get taken down. He's going to get clinched up. And I think that it ultimately is going to come down to a decision win for Kamaru Usman. So that's my predictions. That's how I think everything is going to go tonight. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. I want to hear your predictions, but it um, should be a good night. So enjoy the fight. You know the deal. Hit the like button on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check us out online, www.retropodguy.com. Thanks for watching.